Chairman of Yad Vashem, Mr. Avner Shalev, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. You are mostly welcome. Sergei Sushon passed away last Thursday and was buried this Sunday in Hadera. So they was just a boy when the war came to his hometown, Odessa. He lived in a mixed neighborhood together with Ukrainians, Bulgarians, Greeks, Russians, and Jews. As a child, he was moved to the Odessa ghetto with his family. From there, he was sent to the campus, to the camps in Transistria. And thanks to both his mother and grandmother being doctors, the family miraculously survived. After the war, Sergei returned to his studies. With the fall of the Soviet Union, he began to devote his time to commemorating the Holocaust and ensuring that the victims were remembered by the younger generations of both Jews and non Jews. In 1992, Sergei made Aliyah and immigrated to Israel. And here, too, he devoted all his time to Holo Holocaust commemoration through public activism out of a sense of commitment and mission. He died in Israel without family, but not alone. He said that each year, he had three birthdays to celebrate. The first, the date of his birth in Odessa. The second, his liberation from Transistria. And the third, the date of the completion of a testimony film about his life and family. Sergei died, but his legacy lives on. We have the responsibility to tell Sergei's story, the survivor's story, and the story of the six million who murdered. As Elisheva Lehman said in the short movie you saw last night, I know that when I die, my story and the story of my family will not die with me. As educators who are exposed to the stories of Holocaust survivors, you share the responsibility that the stories will never be forgotten. Such a responsibility is compounded by the sad reality that we are losing survivors like Sergei on a daily basis. The dark nights are not over, and the darkness wears and disrobes its shape quickly. The Nyers continue to be active. We continue to receive painful reminders that anti-Semitism has not gone from our world. Recently, we were shaken when we heard that the statue of righteous among the nations, Raoul Wallenberg, was vandalized in Budapest. Alongside clear condemnations, it is certain that the way to struggle with this is to broaden Holocaust studies in the educational systems all over the world. Education, in its various forms, is the answer and the place where historical consciousness will be formed for generations. This is the challenge that stands before us today. Today, as then, teachers and educators stand at front. In the ghettos, they did this, sometimes even after hope had been lost, when the decree had been issued, but their spirit did not fall. When we see their actions, we are witness to the victory of the human spirit. The battle for the spirit is not over. You, the teachers and educators, stand at this front. And this is our common mission. In January 2010, 
my capacity as Minister of Education. I participated in an important meeting of Ministers of Education from all over the world at Auschwitz-Birkenau. The meeting was held on January 27th, International Holocaust Remembrance Day. We met to discuss the responsibility of commemorating the Holocaust and the commitment to establishing educational policies to ensure effective and sustainable teaching about the Holocaust. I often meet ministers of education from all over the world and the need to formalize the Holocaust in the educational curriculum is a central in our conversations. There is positive development. Formal agreements have been signed between Israel and various states that have institutionalized the commitments like Germany, Italy, Romania, among others. It can therefore be seen that understanding the Holocaust and its significance is not only the concern of the Jewish people. The responsibility to ensure that such a disaster never happens again rests on the shoulders of young people, for they are the future. But as their educators, you have the special responsibility of shaping these young people to establish their consciousness, the world of values. This unique and impressive forum of almost 400 educators from over 50 countries gathered here today is proof of a special partnership. I would like to express my personal gratitude for you being here and for your activities in your countries. I would like to conclude with a quote from Elie Weisel, Holocaust survivor and leading humanitarian. I quote, they will be our heroes, our witnesses. They will be the custodians of our memories, those of our legacy. For whoever listens to a witness becomes a witness. Thank you so much.